This is my dog, Tramp. Hi, Tramp. And he's a big furry dog. He's 12 years old. And I have taken him to a groomer in the past, and it has costed around $100 to groom him. But now he's old, he's 12, and he's arthritic. And we actually had to make a ramp to get him into my car to take him to the vet a couple weeks ago for his annual checkup. Duly rode in my husband's truck. So a few years ago, I had bought this at Petco. And groomers actually use these. I think I paid about 15 bucks for it. It's an undercoat comb. These are actual blades. So you have to be really careful when you use these. But they're super effective for furry dogs and furry cats. So if you watch, he's got some really furry haunches. I actually call them his pants. And I already did them. Um, I got him to stand up for me. But if you watch this, you hold the brush like this. And you just slowly, because you don't want to get their skin. Because like I said, these are blades. They are actually cutting the fur. Great for huskies. Um, you can save yourself a lot of money. If you can get your dog in the tub, you can groom your dog at home. And a shampoo I recommend is a shampoo called Furinator. They do sell it at Petco for about 10 bucks, And that's what they do use on big furry dogs, and they'll charge you extra if you take them to the groomer. But, I mean, this works so great. And then I just take, this is a Conair, just regular people hairbrush. And then I just take this to get off the flyaways. And we see all these little white spots. I got most of them off, but that's dander. It's just like people having dandruff. And that's what people are actually allergic to. They're not allergic to the fur on animals. And a solution to that is coconut oil. Just feed them coconut oil. Cats like it too. You can buy it in the spice aisle at your local grocery store. Some people like to get the organic stuff or the stuff that's in the vitamin aisle at Walmart, Target, etc. That is expensive. It does come as a solid, but at 76 degrees, it does melt. Uh, make sure you're giving it to them as a solid. Put it in your refrigerator in the summer. Um, it does take away the dander. And most dogs and cats do love it. Um, if you have a dog this size, he's 108 pounds. I like to give him about a tablespoon a day in the winter. Um, not as much in the summer, you know, because they're outside with the humidity and whatnot. But that is your pet tip for the day.